Good day everyone. So welcome back to our YouTube channel. And this video tutorial is the continuation of our topic about sequence. So I hope na meron kayong bagong matutunan sa video ito and magamit nyo sa inyong schoolworks. So without further ado, let's get started. So here, we have here the types of sequence, okay? So meron tayong four types of sequence. So, the first one is the arithmetic sequence. So, ano nga ba kapag sinabi na nating arithmetic sequence? So, sabi dito, arithmetic sequence, so this is the sequence wherein the difference between con consecutive terms are equal. So, ibig sabihin, yung difference daw ng bawat magkasunod na terms ay equal. So, let's give an example. So, I have here... Um, so for example, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, sabi, the difference between consecutive terms are equal. So, let's check if their differences are equal. So, 10 minus 5, okay, yung una muna, okay, second term muna, bago first term. Third term muna, bago second term. And fourth term muna, bago uh, third term. Ganun tayo kapag kumukuha ng difference. Okay? Mas, kung anong mas, kung anong nauna, kung anong nasa kanan, yun yung, uh, doon mo isasubtract yung nasa kaliwa. So, 10 minus 5 equals 5. Okay? So, 10 minus 5 equals 5. Next naman, 15 minus 10 equals 5 also. Then, last, 20 minus 15, 20 minus 15, it's equal to 5 also. So, the sequence is arithmetic, okay? Because they have uh, equal differences, they have uh, common, common difference, okay? So, tawag dito ay common difference. So, another example, um, magbigay pa tayo ng isa pang example. So, um, let's try one. 4, 7, and 10. Okay? So, I have here 1, 4, 7, and 10. So, let's check kung pare-parehas yung uh, difference nila. Okay? So, first, 4 minus 1 is 3. 7 minus 4, 7 minus 4, that is also 3. Then, 10 minus 7 equals 3. So, they have all the same differences. So, this this sequence is called arithmetic sequence. Okay, gets ba? Okay, so kapag uh, pare-parehas yung differences nila, yung uh, difference between consecutive terms, this the, the sequence is called arithmetic. Okay, that is arithmetic sequence. So next naman, geometric sequence tayo. So geometric sequence, so sabi dito, um, geometric sequence is a sequence wherein the ratio between consecutive terms are equal. So, kung dito sa arithmetic sequence, ang um, equal ay difference between consecutive terms, dito naman sa geometric sequence, ang equal naman ay ratio between consecutive terms. So, Kuya Roel, Kuya Vincent, ano ba kapag sinabi nating ratio? Okay, so ang ratio is parang i-divide mo lang siya. Okay, you will get the you will get the quotient of the two numbers. Okay, so let's give an example. Para mas lalo natin siyang maintindihan. So for example, I have here um, 3, 9, 27, and 81. So para makuha yung uh, ratio natin, ratio ng sequence, is i-divide lang natin siya. So kagaya lang din dito sa arithmetic sequence. So mauna si 9 kay 3. So, let's uh, get the ratio. 9 divided by 3. Ang sagot ay 3. 27 divided by 9. Ang sagot ay also 3. And um, 81 divided by 27. Ang sagot ay 3. So, they have all the same ratio. So, itong ratio na tinatawag na to kapag equal silang lahat, this is called common ratio. Okay? So, kung sa arithmetic, arithmetic sequence, meron tayong common difference. 
Dito naman sa geometric sequence, meron tayong common ratio. Okay, so isa pang example para mas lalo natin siyang maintindihan. So I have here um, 5, 10, 20, and 40. So let's get their, their ratio. Okay, so 10 divided by 5, that is 2. Then 20 divided by 10, that is also 2. And lastly, 40 divided by 20, that is also 2. So, this sequence is a geometric sequence because they have all the same ratio, okay? So, kapag pare-pares yung ratio natin, kapag pare-pares yung ratio nila, um, they are, this uh, the sequence is called geometric, okay? So, kapag, uh, kapag kinuha natin yung difference nila and hindi sila nagkapare-pareho, Hindi sila arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, for example, dito tayo. Uh, 10 minus 5. Kung ipagma-minus natin to, 10 minus 5, sagot ay 5. Then, 20 minus 10, ang sagot ay 10. So, understood na hindi na agad siya papasok sa arithmetic sequence. So, let's try na kunin yung uh, common ratio niya kung magsasatisfy siya dun sa geometric sequence. And kapag, nags, uh, kapag nagpare-pareho naman yung common ratio niya, then the sequence is um, geometric. Okay? So, next naman ay har harmonic sequence. Okay? So, madali lang naman tong harmonic sequence because harmonic sequence is the reciprocal of arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, Kung ano yung arithmetic sequence mo, babaligtarin mo lang siya dito sa harmonic sequence. So, let's give an example. So, we have here one half, one third, one fourth, and one fifth. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin dito, yung denominator nila ay nagpo-form ng arithmetic sequence. Okay, so ang tawag dyan ay harmonic sequence kasi nga, ay reciprocal lang siya ng arithmetic sequence. Okay, so kung babalik tari natin siya, okay, babalik tari natin bawat isa, so we will get 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so let's get their common difference. So, 3 minus 2, that is 1. 4 minus 3, that is also 1. And 5 minus 4, that is also 1. So, this is a her um, arithmetic sequence. Okay, then kung babalik tarin natin siya, kung ibabalik natin sila sa original form nila, which is one half, one third, one fourth, and one fifth, this is now called harmonic sequence. Okay, another example. I have here, um, um, tama so two third, um, one half, or two fourths, so one half or two fourths, pares lang, and uh, two fifths and one third. So, itong one half natin, pares lang siya sa two fourths, and itong one third natin is pares lang siya sa two over six. Okay, so kung babalik tarin natin siya, magiging ano siya, three over two, um, four over two, five over two, and six over two. So, kung kukunin natin yung differences nila, so, uh, four over two. Minus 3 over 2, that is 1 half. 5 over 2, minus 4 over 2, that is also 1 half. Then 6 over 2, minus 5 over 2, that is also 1 half. So, yung common difference nila ay 1 half. Okay? So, this sequence is forming a arithmetic sequence. Then, kung ibabalik natin siya dito sa kanyang original form, so, this uh, sequence is called harmonic sequence. Okay? So, last na, ano natin siya? So, last na sequence natin, we have here the Fibonacci sequence. Okay? So, in Fibonacci sequence, each term is the sum of the two preceding terms. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung isang number, makukuha natin, yung isang term, makukuha natin siya kapag pinag-add natin yung dalawang na unang number sa kanya. So, for example, we have here 0, 1, and 1. Okay? So, makukuha natin tong 1 na to kapag pinag-add natin yung dalawang na unang terms. Okay? So, if we, if we add 0 to 1, the result is 1. So, makukuha na natin 
yung next term kapag pinag-add natin ulit itong dalawang term na to. So, 1 plus 1, that is 2. Next naman, um, 1 plus 2, that is 3. 2 plus 3, that is 5, and uh, so on and so forth. So, ganun lang ang Fibonacci sequence. I-add mo lang yung dalawang naunang term sa kanya para makuha mo yung term na yun. Okay? So, I have here some exercises na pwede natin gamitin para mas lalo nating maintindihan kung ano nga ba yung sequence. Okay? So, dito natin malalaman kung ano yung mga natutunan natin sa mga diniscuss natin kanina. Okay? So, sabi sa instruction, determine whether the given sequence is arithmetic, geometric, harmonic, and Fibonacci. Okay? So, i-determine lang natin siya kung ito ay arithmetic, geometric, harmonic, and Fibonacci. So, pero, uh, bago natin i-determine kung anong type of sequence siya is i-check muna natin siya, okay? So, i-check muna natin siya para malaman natin kung anong type of sequence siya. So, here, sa number 1, meron tayong negative 4, 0, 4, 8, and 12. Okay? So, una natin gagawin is, syempre, i-minus agad muna natin sila, i-subtract muna natin sila. So, 0 minus 4, so that is... Uh, 0 minus 4 is 4, okay? And 4 minus 0, that is 4. 8 minus 4, that is 4. 8 minus 12 is 4. Okay, so it means, isa siyang um, arithmetic sequence. Okay, this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, next naman. We have here 8, 4, 2, and 1. So, let's try na isubtract natin sila. Okay, 4, mi 4 minus 8, that is negative 4. 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. So, makikita natin, magkakaiba yung common difference nila. So, let's try naman na i-divide sila and get their ratio. So, 4 divided by 8, that is um, 1 half. Okay, 1 half. Tagay natin dito. 2 divided by 4, that is also 1 half. And 1 divided by 2, that is also 1 half. So, makikita natin, pare-parehas yung ratio nila. So, this sequence is geometric sequence. Geometric sequence. Okay? So, first, tinignan muna natin kung pare-parehas yung common difference nila, di ba? Then, since nakita natin hindi magkakaparehas, tinry naman natin kunin yung ratio nila. And then, since nagkapare-parehas yung common ratio, yung ratio nila, then that sequence is a geometric sequence. Okay, next naman, meron tayong 3 over 4, 3 over 5, 3 over 6, and 3 over 7. Okay? So, sa unang tingin pa lang, masasabi na agad natin kung anong type of sequence siya. Okay? Since nasa denominator, yung arithmetic sequence natin, then, this sequence is a harmonic sequence. Okay, so kapag may nakita kayong fraction, okay, and yung denominator nila is forming an arithmetic sequence, then, that uh, sequence is a harmonic sequence. Okay? So, madali lang naman siyang i-determine kasi nga nasa denominator na yung, uh, yung arithmetic sequence. Then, next naman, meron tayong dito ang 3, 5, 8, and 13. So, yung lagi natin ginagawang una, so, get first their difference. Okay? So, 3 minus 5, that is 2. 8 minus 5, that is 3. 13 minus 8, that is so, makikita natin magkakaiba yung difference nila. Then, let's try naman na kunin yung ratio nila. Okay? So, 5 divided by 3 is 5 thirds. Okay? Di na, di na natin kukunin yung decimal nila kasi ratio nga, ba? So, it's uh, in fraction form or in a ratio form, yung may colon. Okay? So, 8 divided by 5, that is 8 over 5. And 13... Divided by 8 is 13 over 8. So, hindi rin sila pare-parehas. So, Kuya Rowell, Kuya Vince, ano nga bang sunod natin gagawin? Since hindi na gumana yung arithmetic, 
hindi na rin gumana yung geometric. So, hindi na rin gagana yung harmonic dyan kasi nga hindi naman siya fraction. So, ang natitira na lang is Fibonacci sequence. So, let's check. Okay? So, sabi sa Fibonacci sequence, the sum of the two preceding terms is the term. Okay? So, ang term na daw, ang term na, daw na to is equal siya dun sa sum ng preceding terms niya. So, 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 and 8 is 13. So, this sequence is a Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence. Okay. So, last naman, meron tayo ditong um, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and 1 over 16. So, pag may nakita tayong fraction, una na agad natin may isip is harmonic sequence. Okay? So, let's uh, get the difference of their denominators. Okay? Sa denominator lang tayo mag-focus, ha? Tingnan natin. 4 divided by... Uh, 4 minus 2, that is 2. Okay? 4 minus 8... Uh, 8 minus 4, that is 4. And 16 minus 8, that is 8. So, makikita natin... Uh, magkakaiba yung kanilang difference. So, let's try naman natin yung, uh, uh, kunin yung ratio nila. So, 1 fourth divided by 1 half. Okay, that is 1 half. Saan ba natin susulat? Sige, dito na lang. 1 half. Then, 1 eighth divided by 1 fourth. That is also 1 half. Okay, wala tayo mapagsulatan. <laughs> Ayan. Then, lastly, ano, si, uh, 1 over 16 divided by 1 over 8. It is also one half. So this sequence is a geometric sequence. Kasi nga pare parehas yung ratio nila. Okay. So that's all for today's video and uh, thank you for watching. I hope na meron kayo natutunan bago sa ating diniskas kanina about sequence. And sana ay ma-apply nyo siya sa inyong mga schoolworks, ano? magamit nyo siya sa inyong mga assignments, quizzes, and seat works. Sana makatulong tong lesson na to. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching this video. So, may God bless us all. And see you on our next video tutorial. Bye-bye!